Hello, I am Mr. Grimm. I'm your nightmare. Welcome. Welcome to hell. You're going someplace today, and guess what? You're coming with me, because I'm going to go out and going to cut your freaking head off. I got my stick back here, and I'm back at this museum right here, the History Museum, and what is this? This is a bloody knife. We're going on a trip. Because you want to know something? You're never freaking coming back. You think you got rid of Mr. Grimm? You think you could run me down? You think you could put me away? You think you could, you think you can kill me? Right? You want to know something? I'm already, I'm already dead. And guess what? You are too. I am the angel of death. I have magical powers that you'll never even dream of. Do you want to know something? You're not even for real. I made all of you people up. We're all going on a trip today. Are you ready? You ready for a trip? Are you ready? Firemongers and whoremongers out there, I hate all of you. What's that? I got that right here. I'm gonna cut your chicken head off. Talk about Marlene. Send the police down there. You wanna know something? My show is rated the best. The best there is, you ain't gonna beat me. I'm Mr. Grimm, I'm magic. I'm magic. You don't be afraid of Freddy Krueger because he's not real. Jason ain't real. Michael Myers ain't real. I'm real. I'm right here and I exist. I got rid of Susan. See this lady right here? I got rid of this bitch. I got rid of her. I threw her out of my museum. And I made up a whole pile of bullshit. And I had all the black people there and all the white people and everybody to make up all kinds of crap and I had them, I had them cuss her out and make fun of her and everything else. You wanna know why? Because I'm a mean, evil B-I-T-C-H. And I'm gonna come after you. You don't believe I can? I have magic. You ever hear of magic? I'm an alien from another planet. I wasn't born in this world. I'm an alien. I am death. You want to know where I come from? I come from Sicarius. No, you never heard of that because I am not of this world. I'm dead. I'm already dead. And everybody on Sicarius is dead. And that's where me and my history museum is right now, right here. And there's my mother right there. And where's my father? Oh, he's got, he got his head chopped off. And so are you. You want to know something? You're all full of hate. I hope you all fall in hell. Chase Susan around with the goddamn car. You chase her around. You hate her. You send her horrible messages. You want to know something? You don't combat hate with hate. <laughs> you can't get rid of Mr. Grimm. He's forever. I want to talk about an incident that happened. Then we're going to take a little trip there. You and me, you ain't got no choice. I do. I make this realm. I make you. And you want to know something? I'm going to snatch each and every damn one of you is out of existence. Because you only exist right here in my mind. You ain't real. This is not real. You remember that? Remember that, man? This incident was at the Faith Family Church in uh, Greenmont Road. And Susan went there to listen to Christmas music and do what she do best, dance. And guess what? Because of me, I'm Mr. Grimm. Because of me and my Halloween stuff, which does this look like Halloween to you? This isn't a Halloween joke. This is real. I'm really here. I really exist. I am not Susan. You think I'm just dressing up like this as Susan. No, I'm not Susan. Susan's in hell right now. This is somebody else right here. So you sit there and you take a look at me. And we're going back to the Faith Family Church. Christmas. Christmas in hell. When Susan goes there, uh, Gary, Gary, Barry, quite contrary, threw her out because of Mr. Grimm. Mr. Grimm is too ugly. Oh, Mr. Grimm is out there cutting people's heads off with a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, my God. No, they thought, they thought I was Susan. I am not Susan. I am in your nightmares. I am not Susan. I don't even come to court with Susan. There is Susan, 
I'm somebody else. I'm a separate entity. You see, Susan has powers. Here, I'm coming after you. Better believe it. Susan has magical powers. And she can... What's this? You want some knives? I'm coming with the knives. Yeah, I'm gonna cut your head off for real this time. Send the police out here. Make a freaking make my show better than ever, huh? Go ahead. See if I give a damn. I don't. You are my nightmare. I can take each one of you away anytime I want to. Because you exist only up here. Faith Family Church. We're gonna take a trip out there. And we're gonna witness the past. Because I have powers that you can't believe of. I have things happen to me that you'll never believe. I am magic because I'm dead. I come from Sicorius. That's another world. I don't even belong to your world. I hate human beings. They're disgusting little creatures that I stick in my mouth and I eat after they're dead. I disgust me. You people here human disgust me because I'm Sicorius. We've all found the meaning. And you want to know something? We feed off of your hate. And you can't destroy hate with hate. The only thing you can destroy hate is love. But we're going to Faith Family Church right now. We're going to take a trip to the past. And you're going to come with me because you ain't got no damn choice. Because I rule this world right now. And I rule you. I am in charge. I'm Mr. Grimm. I'm the best. And I'm baddest. And don't you ever forget it. And I got my stick. And we're going back to that, uh... We're going back to the Faith Family Church. Why don't you join me? What's that? You want me to get my knife? Want me to come for you, huh? Do you? Want me to come for you? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Talk to you for a minute. Yeah, I wanted to talk anyway. A lot has happened since I was here last. I know. I saw you on a. Uh, I saw you on a. My house. They tried to burn me down. I saw you on YouTube as a evil clown. Oh yeah, that's my Halloween videos, right? And it's caused a problem to where we don't let people in here who threaten to kill people. Ah, uh, that's my Halloween stuff. That was just for fun. Huh? It's on video, so... Okay, well, it's it's my Halloween thing. It's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. I, Who told you that? Because I, that's a lie. I saw it. I saw it. I right, that's Halloween of Mr. Grimm. Yeah, I, I don't... I can't, I can't condone it. You're threatening to kill things and people and yourself. Um, Actually, it's not supposed to be me. It's supposed to be Mr. Said, Grimm. You said I'm killing Susan. You put blood all over Susan, which is you, right? Right, that's Mr. Grimm, though. That's a character, a Halloween character, not me. I don't see what the problem is because that's like a Halloween fun. That's nothing to that. I did that the last three years, so. I went back and looked at a couple of them, but I tell you what, it's it's just we've decided that, that it's not it's not right. It's not part of our our beliefs. We don't believe. I don't believe either, so. Well, but you're doing it, and so you're representing. You're representing something there that I can't condone, and I, I can't have you coming to the show and doing what you do. Even the dancing, that's that's okay. Uh, you, you, it just doesn't... It you're just, my, you're, yeah. What's her name? What? It's Yvonne. Yvonne. Right. Now, right. like I... Listen, listen. Can I, I tell to her? It's me. I'm the boss. I've talked to all the pastors, and all the pastors are afraid of you, because you, you're on this video looking like you're going to kill people. And we can't have That's people. my Halloween stuff. It's nothing. It's Halloween. We can't have people in our church. I want to know who told you that beside. I looked at your website. No, you said somebody somebody else had a problem with it. No, I said I did. Well, you said somebody else too. Me and my pastors and everybody who looked at it is like a, is just at all. They were just like, my gosh, this is hard. Right, that's my Halloween stuff. It doesn't mean, I mean, what, I'm not allowed to celebrate Susan, Halloween? Susan, you can celebrate Halloween, but you can't, I, I can't have a person who goes out and 
threatens to kill people on October I don't 31st. kill people. I'm the dance of life. I don't believe in killing anything. We've, we've made a decision that you don't really get to do that here. Okay? So you're, you're not really welcome this year. And I do, I'm, a, I'm asking you nicely to... You gotta listen to him. He's the one in charge. Okay, because I haven't done anything to anybody. I mean... It's scary. You know what? I was thrown out of the Chris Kindle market down there. Why? Because you were... I didn't do a damn thing to anybody. You never did. You say. I haven't done nothing to nobody. Never hurt nobody. This is the reason I don't... You want to know something? Susan, Susan, no. I, I told you three years ago, four years ago, two years ago, last year, you're welcome to come here and be part of our ministry. If you want to get saved, you want to get turned... turned How am I supposed to get saved if nobody wants me anyplace, huh? never come except these Christmas shows, and this is not... We're, hey, I've never seen you except at a Christmas show. You only come during the Christmas You only have a program at Christmas. We have church service every Sunday, twice. Nobody wants me. We never said that. And we asked you to come. I mean, how am I supposed to find God? How am I supposed to find anything? Isn't that what they're supposed to do? They're supposed to, to minister to somebody so they can find the way and not lose the way to send me to hell? Well, why haven't you received it? Because we get, we've ministered You're to not, you for all these years. Listen, here's the thing. If, if, you, if you put things on YouTube that you're trying to kill... Susan, I don't kill. You're kill. No, you say on there you're going to kill Susan, you're going to kill this, you got these knives, and I'm just going to do this, I'm going to do this. Do you want to know who that it's, actually is? It's, it's That's a, not me. It's a scary crime. That's, you know they got the History Museum up there in St. Louis? No, I really don't. St. Louis History Museum, Missouri History Museum, that guy down there actually done that to me, and I'm just representing him. That's what I'm doing. No, but we, we don't want it around here. But I won't put them on anymore if that's have a problem with it. I mean, so many people complain about it. I'll take it. I'll shut it down. But, yeah, but, it's just, it's just but how am I? I want to ask you something, you and anybody. That how am I supposed to find God if every place I go to now this this isn't the first time I've had this problem. I, Let I, me speak. I'd like, I'd like you to come back as the as the regular Susan and not have to dance and not have to be a spectacle because you like to be the spectacle. You like I to like to share the meaning of life with people. No. We do not need the spectacle. How am I? Let me, You're not the show. Let me the ask show, the question. The show is on the stage, not in the audience. Right, let me ask the question. How am I supposed to ever find God any place, anywhere? You, you know, know what I mean? And I'm asking it. you and you too. You know if nobody wants me there. Susan, I invited you here year after year after year. You scared me because I saw you on this silly thing on YouTube. I've had that there for five years. It scared me. I thought it's supposed to be scary. It's for Halloween. I don't want you in my building. It's for Halloween. That's supposed to be scary, but... I don't know if you're not carrying something right now. Are, are you? Do you want to search me? I'm not searching you. I called the police if you want to give you me my, more than welcome to search my I purse. I don't want to search you. No. This is not the intent. The intent is to save My place. intent was, you want to know I something? I kind of want you to go home and have a nice night. I'm cutting Christmas. I'll tell you something. I'm cutting Christmas out of this program completely because of this kind of stuff. I have more problems at Christmas than I ever have. And you want to know who it's with? Christians. Because you don't want to conform to any kind of Christian walk. Do you, what, you want to you know, know something? Christian walk is praying. Asking God to take your, save your soul. Asking God to walk with you. And you think I don't believe in it? I don't know. You, you said my mom and dad, my, my mom was a Sunday school teacher. My dad was a fill-in preacher. Would you like me to show you his license? I saw it on your videos. I've looked at about 30 of your videos. I know you talk about your parents a little bit on YouTube. And it's really nice you honor them, okay? You honor your parents, okay? I'm glad you do. I wish they were still here well, because I'm tired of all this. Susan, I wish mine were too, but it doesn't stop. I don't go out and dance in churches like that. I come here and work. Do you know what? I serve people. There's a, a psalm. I think it's one, Psalm 131 or something. I go out and dance. But There's a psalm like that. There's two here, of them. Here's the rule of faith family. We don't have a dancing ministry in the audience. We don't have a thing in the audience where people dance. There are churches that let people dance. We don't really do that. Well, you want to know something? I go to lots of churches. I've been to many churches. I've been to St. Matthew's over there. Yeah, they, they threw you out. Right. That's sad. Right. I went to St. Matthew's. I've been to lots of churches. You want to know something? I'm not even there five minutes. I walk in, and I already got a problem with somebody. And I haven't even done anything. And it's not because your, your of the dancing either. Your video, your video scared me enough that you're not really allowed here, okay? We can't have somebody who, who on, two months ago was running around saying they're going to kill themselves. That kill. is a Halloween thing. Well, I had, you know what, I had you, somebody you, else you, complain about, about that. How about, how about the slicing tires in Belleville this year? 
I didn't slash anybody's anything. I didn't do anything to anybody. The police did. had a record. It was a police record. I haven't done a thing to anybody. And you want to know something? I, I'm going to put it this way to you. I don't know who you are, but I know who he is. Just, all you really need to know is me. I'm Jerry. Right. I'm Jerry. Um, let me ask you a question. How am I ever supposed to find the meaning of life if, and the meaning of God and anything else if this is the way I'm done? Do you, do you have a Bible? Yeah, I have a Bible. Do you read it? I read mine every day. That's how I learned how to Can I ask you a question? Why would I want to? If the, the, hurt, the one that hurts me the worst is the Christians yeah, all the time. No, you tell me about that, please have tell I, me. Have I hurt you before this year? What about that little scene last year? That was you. What about that? We, we sat in here and we talked. And remember that, that one? was you. I am authority or not. Do you, do, you know, do, you know what, do you know what leadership and authority means? If somebody has a rule, this is the rule. The, the bosses, the preachers have said, Gary, will you take care of our church? I said, yes. So I'm in charge of security because I need to take care of this place. And I do take care of it, okay? Right, but what I don't understand is what is going on here. I mean, people want me to, oh, you need to find God. Well, let me say it's something. It's all about the Mr. What's his name? The, the killing thing. I can't have that here. Can't. That is a Halloween program. Really? I, I don't want it here. Matter of fact, here's the thing. If you want to come back to our church in, in, in a... In a a, a major, you're going to come and sit in a chair, watch the show, clap. You can come. You cannot come and dance. I've decided you're too dangerous to have you taking up two, three seats, running around. Who's that? Michael Ford. Oh. He's cold. Uh, is it six yet? Yeah, it's uh, almost six o'clock, so you want all the doors yeah, let, open? Yeah, let them in. But can you make sure the greeters, the greeters need to be able to send the people with reserved seats to the side door on each side? They have to have reserved seats to the side. All right. Inside, they got to go down the halls to the east, you know, the, the two side entrances. Can I speak to you? Listen, this is why I decided to cut Christmas out because I go to different places, you know what I mean? This is when I have most of the problem. And you want to know something? If I wind up going to hell, it's going to be yours if, and if, St. If Matthew's you, you, and everybody if you else. If you come back and you don't video me and you don't come back and you don't dance, you could come back. But we don't want to have a person who's professing death and killing. I don't believe in death. I don't believe in life. My main, listen, my main motto here is I do not destroy any kind of life. Maybe you need to see my rules because that's my rules. I don't destroy life. There was many, listen, there was many times I wanted to kill myself. See, here's the thing. If you see me do something, you're going to remember that. And if I did something like that, you ain't going to want to be around me. And you so didn't see me do anything. Posted on YouTube, people see that. That's a Halloween so, video. But no, that doesn't no, no, make no difference. What I need to put? Do I need to put on there? This is a Halloween video. No, they just shouldn't do it. I wouldn't. Right. Do it. I shouldn't do a Halloween program. Do you see me doing it? I'm trying to get to everybody. You know what I mean? I'm trying to celebrate every single holiday, every day thing there is. No. That's just the program I run. It doesn't, our, it doesn't fit our beliefs. We believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the Bible. And you don't think I do? I I'll tell you something, honey. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jesus Christ. Because, he, you know what? The night of the fire, he caused me to wreck my van in order to make me home that night. If it wasn't for that, I'd have been burned up alive. And that's, you should be praising God for that, not arguing with our authority. We have, we have rules. People don't understand me. We're afraid of you. I've never hurt nobody. I've never done nothing to nobody. We're, we're afraid of you. Do you understand? Well, then Jesus you're is afraid. too. No, no, you're mistaken. That's not me in that suit. That's somebody else. Do you understand that? Do you understand what a reference of characters like a movie? Somebody on a movie? You know what I mean? It's like it's a movie. When you sit there and said, if you wind up going to hell, then it's our fault? It's all of you people's fault. No, it's not. You have that free will to choose. But if nobody wants me at no church, then what am I supposed to do? Listen, we have invited you. Really? I didn't want to, that wasn't what I heard when I came here. I, Did I not? I, I invited you for two or three years now, but here's the thing. When I start seeing the evil that's on that Halloween thing. That's a Halloween video. It's nothing. You scared us. We're done. We're over. It's nice. We'll find a place that'll let you kill things. I don't kill things, man. We are on video. That's not me. That's a Halloween video. I think, it, I think we're just done. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to wish you a happy time or whatever you want. I ain't to shaking your hand. I mean, I've got a question for somebody, you know? 
Why does Jesus not want me, huh? Jesus wants you. It's, it, no. it's what you do and what you choose. We all have a choice. We have a free will. You're the one that are that's posting these things on here that put putting these ideas in people's heads, you know? Like he just said. It's a show. Like okay. that one you're putting on in there okay. today. No, 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 no. That's totally different. This is true. This is true. That is false. Yeah. Yeah, nobody goes around killing. Right. It's false. It's Halloween. It's for fun. Ha <laughs> ha. We don't believe in Halloween either. Well, I, besides, I've had uh, that on it for five years. I don't know why you waited to not. We're, we're basically done, so I, I'd like you to just go ahead and back up and go. Thank you very much. I won't shake hands. So I'm, I'm not shaking hands because you don't want to know something. I quit. Well, I'm sorry. Here. Don't tell me about Jesus anymore, kid. I don't want to hear it because you people are a bunch of hypocrites. So are you. So are you. So what? See? So what? I don't care anymore. Okay, you never Susan, did. Susan, so I need you to get up and leave right now. I'm talking to him. He told me. If you don't leave, I'm going to have someone else work you out. This is him or her, and maybe even the Shiloh place. So please just get up and go. That would be very interesting I'm to have you. you. Right now. You're going to escort me out? Yes. He won't, he's not going to touch you. He's just going to walk with you. No, because if somebody touches me, I haven't done nothing to you. I haven't done nothing to anybody. I want to know what judge is Jesus Christ. Why does he not want me? Are you videoing this? No. Yes, you are. I see the light on. Why does Jesus Christ take me? Open the door. I'm not going to even... I don't want you touching me. Don't touch me. You're going to walk all the way with me to the yes. car? I don't want you to touch me. I ain't touch you. Or Jesus either. Yeah, you both touch you. Then him leave me alone and you and everybody, okay? Yeah. Because I'm going to hell and you're going to go with me, buddy. Because you throw me out, you, let it, you hate me. I didn't tell you I hated you. God loves you. He just don't Bullshit. like your sin. He don't like your sin. He loves you. Bullshit. Well, that's the truth. I don't want to hear it anymore, okay? That's fine. Just keep your mouth quiet and just go to your car and leave. I don't have to keep my mouth shut. I can talk all I want to. God gives me that so right. Can I. I haven't done nothing to you. I didn't say you did. I don't like her following me. Why are you following me? She's my wife. But she can't I, follow me because it's, uh, it's her prerogative. And who are you? I'm her husband. You're not Gary. I'm head of security. You're not Gary. I'm Rick. I'm her husband. Tell it to that one over there. Yeah, whatever. I come here to enjoy a Christmas program. And this is what Christians do to me. This is what God does to you. Everybody wants to hear that? What they do? Oh, you're back already, huh? From your little trip? Are you back from your little trip? I'm gonna go get my knives and I'm gonna cut your cheek your freaking head off. Marlene? <laughs> I still remember you. Oh, you disgust me. You're a cheap. Blah, 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 blah. You guess what that means? I'm not scared of you crap. I'm dead already. This shit don't matter anymore to me. You freaking bugged in and killed me out there. A long time ago, and you're trying to do the same thing to Susan, but you want to know something? I ain't gonna let you do that. Here's what, here's what I think of you. Fire is the devil's advocate. I'm taking you straight to hell with me, every damn one of you. Every one of you liars and you cheaters out there. Every one of you people that lied about her. Every one of you fools out there that think you're better. You're not. You're toys that I play with in my hell. And you made, I made each and every one of you. You are not real. But we're going to another place. I'm not going to let you guess who this is. Oh, let's take a trip back a year ago, huh? Back to June the 29th, huh? When you tried to destroy Susan, you tried to pick and burn her up alive. You want to know something? Here's what's going to be the funny thing. Hold on a minute. I need to get something here. 
I want you to sit there and I want you to wait. Because if you don't, I'm coming through the CD screen. Now I'm going to come after you. Move what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut my head off. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? You want to see me do that, don't you? You want that, don't you? You want me to cut my head off? <laughs> you can't kill Mr. Grimm. That's a laugh in my ass. You try to destroy Mr. Grimm, you try to send the police out here. Go ahead. You just make it, you know what? You're just making me more popular, that's all. Because every single one of them, I'm going to air them, and I'm going to send them straight to Susan. You don't like me. You really don't like what you see. You don't like this clown face you see. You really don't like this. You want to know something? Maybe you need to change your ways. Maybe you need to stop being an evil bitch out there. Maybe you need to stop being an evil entity. Because that's me. My job. I'm at the History Museum right here. And I am after you. And I'm coming for you. Each and every day. And you want to know something? You're not getting away from me. Because each and every one of you is going to meet me someday. Because you're all going to die. <laughs> and I can't wait. Because I'm going to laugh at you forever. And ever. But we're going back. We're going back to June the 29th. We're going back to that date. And I want you to take a look at what you did. And you want to know something? You're never going to destroy Mr. Grimm. Hate doesn't destroy hate. Only love destroys hate. And you people can't do that. You people can't learn to love. So you're going to come with me. My rod and my staff. Oh, Jesus. And all his demons and hell angels up there. I am from Sicorius. You better get with it. Because I need this. I'm coming for you, boy. I'm coming. What's that? I don't believe in you no more. What are you saying there? I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Take a look at this beautiful face. Let's go on a trip. Are you ready? You ready to go on that trip? I bet you are. No. Get that camera off. Okay, I haven't done nothing to nobody. Leave me alone. Okay. Leave me alone. I have done nothing to nobody. I didn't say you did no, nothing to nobody. Okay, you uh, I'm gonna call the police. Really? Okay. I haven't done anything to anybody. While you're there, we can have him um, check to see if he took anything. That's fine. Go ahead, please. Call him out here, cause I've done nothing to nobody. I've done nothing to nobody. Why are you so I'm tired of people bothering me. I've done nothing to nobody. You don't think I know what you're doing? Go ahead, call him. Huh? Go ahead, get him. Okay. I'll help you to it. Okay. I've done nothing to nobody. Here, I'll pull over here and wait for him. Go ahead! I've done nothing to nobody. I need the police out here right away. I'm being harassed by somebody. It's on East Pinkneyville Street right here. I'm being harassed by somebody. 300 East Pinkneyville Street. No, I don't. I'm right across from 300 East Pinkneyville Street. I've done nothing to nobody. This guy's harassing me. Send him out here. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. This guy is uh, accusing me of taking something from this place down there. I've done nothing to him. He's harassing me. That's right. They're sitting in the truck, sitting here and said, I am accusing me of stuff. I haven't done anything to nobody. Please come out here before this guy comes and kills me. I need the police out here. I need some help. I've done nothing. I'm going to this sale down here about a nobody. I'm talking to you. I can't go. I got this guy coming out. He's dirty. Backing up this truck. Help me, please.
Susan Stone. Yeah, he's getting out of his truck. I'm very scared. I've done nothing to nobody. Stay away from me. No, I'm not. That son of a get a hold of the police. I need some help. I didn't excuse him to steal him from that. I had done that nobody. I got the police coming. Do you want me to just drive to your house and we'll no, I want you to sit here. We need I get to get the police. I'll pull up right here and we'll talk to the okay. police here. Hello? I got it all on video. I'm not. I just drove past and I saw her yelling for help and she was standing in a field and there are two gentlemen in a turquoise like teal colored truck and they both got out of the truck and were coming. I've done nothing to her. nobody. And I let her get into my car and I drove across the highway until someone can come. You need to go back over there where that sail is. We'll just wait here till the police come. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm not done that to nobody. Okay, they asked for you to stop yelling so he can hear, okay? Okay. You need to go back over there where that sail is. Let's wait till the police are here before we go over there that way. I haven't done anything to anybody. Please, they're on the way, but he needs you to stop yelling. He can't hear me. Okay. I've done nothing to nobody. The police are pulling up right now. Where? Where are they pulling? I am in a Chevy Mountain. I need your help. I haven't done nothing to nobody. Yes. I've done nothing to nobody. Will you take me back over there, please? Take me back over there, okay. please. I don't know nothing to nobody. What's it, please? Everything you see. Okay. Okay, good please. <laughs> Sick in his stomach. Is that the ambulance going to check me? Everything is out, Susan. Yes. So back in we got all the smoke out we're still gonna smell smoky i know i need the ambulance to check me out or something Go are they gonna come check me yeah. what's gonna be done about, are they gonna take that for evidence or uh, here can you hold the this fire marshal's gonna come and he'll I mean, this he'll burns like hell everything. this finger does yeah, yeah i'm grabbing live they're, flames they're, they're they'll coming. be here i'm grabbing they'll live flames they'll be here Welcome back. You have now entered the twilight zone. You know what? I have powers. I have magic. I'm able to change the weather. I'm able to make you what I want you to be. I'm able to pull you in my nightmare right now. And you want to know something I already have? I already have pulled you into my nightmare. Because you are my dream. And you are, and guess what? I'm Mr. Grimm, and I'm back at the History Museum, and I threw Susan out the window where she can't dance no more. And that's Susan right here. See, I turned her into nothing, and I got rid of her. I made these people, you know, tell all kinds of crap about her. Because you want to know something? I ain't even one of you out there. I hope you all fall down. I hope you all freaking turn yourself upside down. Because I want you to. You are all a nightmare. You're my nightmare. You're not real. I'm coming for you. I hate you. Did you like those two trips? What did you try to do? You think they'll believe me, man? Are you kidding? I am not Susan. I am Mr. Grimm. I am your nightmare. You better look for me, because I'm going to be in your damn little closet. I'm going to be at your window. I'm going to be in your dreams. I'm better than Jason because Jason's only imaginary. You want to know something? I'm real. Michael Myers, he's imaginary. All of them are imaginary. I just heard somebody knocking on the door. You want to know something? You're knocking on the door to hell. 
And if you want to dream, the dream master, oh, you don't need to go to Jason. You don't need to go to Michael. You don't need to go to any of them because they're all made up. I'm not. I'm really here. And I am really Mr. Grimm. I am not Susan, regardless of what you think. I am your nightmare, and I hate all you. I want you to have a, a big poison. I got some knives here. You know they ought to cut your freaking head off right there. Right? Ah! Go on and call him in for that. Make me more popular. Hey, Marlene, are you still out there someplace? I'm going to cut my head off. Oh, wait a minute. I'm already dead. I got to cut your head off, don't I? Jesus. You people are a pain in the ass. Here, this is faster. You people need to grow up. You're not even real. I hate every one of you. I hope you, I hope you all get fall, fall on the floor and you ugly piece of crap stick your stuff in the toilet. Happy Halloween! Oh, this is me. We're Mr. Grimm. We're back here at this history museum. There's my mother right there. And you are all my nightmares. I hate every one of you. I hope you're all twisted up. You're welcome. You're welcome into my museum of hate. And my museum is filled with your hate because you made me who I am today. You want to know that? You made me who I am. Without you, I would not exist. You are the hate that makes me possible. Thank you very much. Without me, you wouldn't be dead because you all are dead regardless if you believe it or not. I made you I have powers, like the gods of the devil or the, the angels in hell. I have power to destroy all of you. You don't believe that? You really don't? I, all I gotta do is wake up. Because you know this shit isn't real, right? You know that none of this is real. I control the weather. I control you. I control your very mind. And if you don't believe that, I'll prove it next time. Because if I believe it or not, I can come through this screen because I am real. Like Freddy Krueger, I can really come through the TV screen. Because I am for real. You are not. You're going to see that I'm the one. I'm the best. I'm the baddest. So go ahead and chase me around all you freaking want. Go ahead and, and do anything you want because you want to know something. Mr. Grimm is never going away. Welcome to hell. I'm death. I'm the angel of death. Your time is up. Your time is up. It's your turn to go. You're going to follow me. Come on. Come on. Let's go. You're going to follow me. Your time is up today. I'm coming for you. Your time is up. See this? Your time is up. I don't need that either. Your time's up, honey. Come on. Welcome to hell. You made it. Welcome to hell. Each and every one of you that did what you did to Susan. You're welcome to my hell now, because I'm going to stand there, and I'm going to laugh at you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And you're never going to be able to get rid of my ugly face here. Because what you did to Susan, what you all people done, you are going to go to hell and burn forever. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. I'm the angel of death, and I'm coming right now. I'm coming through the screen. If you don't believe me, you just sit there and wait. I'm coming. Are you ready? Uh, what's that? No, he isn't going to stop me. But she's going to stop me. I'm coming. Slowly. I'm coming. I'm coming. You better run like hell. What are you waiting for? Stop running. I'm coming through the damn screen. And I'm going to pull you right in here with me. And guess what's going to happen when I get you in here? <laughs> oh, you'll find out. Come on. Are you ready? I'm running. I'm coming after you. I'm coming. <laughs>